Hey guys, it's Tristan from Victress Games, and it's my pleasure to share with you an example game that I built to demonstrate the camera shake extension for GDevelop that I've been working on. Camera shake is also called screen shake. It can be used for a lot of different elements of a game. It is commonly used for explosions, on hit effects, jumping and landing, or just about anything that you want to add weight to. In this example, I let's get it started. I built a little scene here. I've got a bunch of little guys that are climbing this tree because they want to turn this star red. Well, unfortunately, they have a cranky neighbor here that does not like it being red and wants it to be white. So, um, so if I click this shake camera, we'll see a instant example of camera shake. So there you go. That's a, a the default settings for this example. But um, let's walk through some, what these different settings do. So by default, it it's uh, doing a position shake of the x-axis and the y-axis. Um, set to 10 pixels and let's see what it looks like with just the x-axis uh, the x-axis is left and right so this should just go left and right let's make it a little bigger there you go so you can play with these settings quite a bit to get different effects and of course the y position one would do up and down shaking and then together that's kind of a random Left, left, right, up, down, kind of a shake. So um, each of these shakes that I've built in with this extension have a linear decay, which that means that they're going to start out with lots of shaking, and then as the time goes on, the duration of the shake comes to an end. Uh, the shaking gets less and less and basically approaches zero. And that's kind of what happens in real life when things shake. There's a lot of movement, and then things quiet down after the uh, force is gone. So let's look at some of these other types of um, shakes you can do. Uh, the angle shake is uh, basically rotating the screen. This is a very... Um, you don't need a lot of angle shake to make a big impact. So let's just try two degrees. This is a rotation of two degrees. There you go. That's a different way to shake the camera. Let's try the zoom shake. This basically zooms in and out. Um, I think this one I like to do four. So that's zooming in and out. Uh, by default, this uh, example uses shake duration of one second. So it, sh it shakes for one second. And the time between each shake, uh, when it changes directions, is 0.1 seconds. So that gives you 10 shakes, 10 individual shakes, uh, for each shake you initiate. I think you kind of understand the basics of what this could be used for, but there are a couple of special examples that I came up with that are maybe a little different than what you think that camera shake could be used for. What if you wanted to simulate a heartbeat or a breathing effect uh, when a player is damaged or, or near death? Um, let's set the zoom to five so we're going to zoom in and out uh, let's go the duration to 10 seconds so it'll be 10 seconds of shaking and i think i was going to do one second for each um so you can almost think of that as like a heartbeat or a breathing and uh you could you can also make this shake dura duration longer in your game if you wanted it to be like you know constant or for much longer. But that's kind of a cool effect. Another thing I thought of is what if you wanted to do, like if you're on a ship and you just wanted a constant back and forth rotation. Uh, let's try the rotation of two degrees. Uh, we'll keep this at a uh, duration of 10 seconds and the time between shakes will go up to three and a third. So that's going to give us basically three shakes uh, back and forth for every um, time we initiate it. So think of this as like you're on a boat. 
and the boat's rocking. And the last thing I thought of as an example, if you set the uh, shake duration and the time between shakes to be equal, it'll give you like a single shake effect. And you can use this for smaller uh, impacts that are less jarring, um, you know, for minor impacts. Let's try a third of a second. Um, so these are about equal. I think we're doing it right now. We're set up with the angle out. Okay, there you go. It's like a just a tilt and back, tilt and back. Let's try it with the zoom. And let's try with one of these. That's kind of cool. Uh, one thing about the position, I will say, is that it picks a random direction, left or right, so you can't always count on it going one direction because um, it's random. But that's a cool effect, uh, the one shake effect. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, I'd love to see what you, your ideas are. If you have an example of how to use camera shake in a neat way that you want to share, I'd love to see it. So please put that in, in the comments. And if you want to know how I built this example game, uh, I might create a full tutorial on it in the near future. Uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Or if you have any other topics you would want me to cover, let me know. All right, thanks for watching.